hi guys in this uh, video i will uh, simplified primary hyperparathyroidism secondary hyperparathyroidism and tertiary hyperparathyroidism labs value you have to fill this table that is pth alp calcium level and phosphate level in these hyperparathyroidism first of all uh, pth level is increase in all hyperparathyroidism that is primary hyperparathyroidism secondary hyperparathyroidism and tertiary hyperparathyroidism pth level is increased in all hyperparathyroidism alp level is increased so alp and pth level both are increased in all type of hyperparathyroidism for the level of calcium and phosphate we have this trick to remember this is a graph on which x axis represent calcium level and y axis represent phosphate level as phosphate has a single vertical line like this so this is represent on y axis write a uh, first second and third in this table in this pattern so for first is for primary hyperparathyroidism second is for secondary hyperparathyroidism and third is for tertiary hyperparathyroidism in first uh, uh, degree or primary hyperparathyroidism calcium level is increased while phosphate level is low so calcium is increased and phosphate is low this is first degree or primary hyperparathyroidism in primary hyperparathyroidism calcium level is increased while phosphate level is decreased similarly in second degree or secondary hyperparathyroidism phosphate level is increased while calcium level is decreased and secondary hyperparathyroidism calcium level is decreased while phosphate level is increased similarly in tertiary hyperparathyroidism or third degree hyperparathyroidism calcium level is increased while phosphate level is also increased in tertiary hyperparathyroidism calcium level is increased and phosphate level is increased so this is a simple trick for hyperparathyroidism